Hello, everyone. I guess I just should start like I usually do and ask if the audio is good. Should be because nothing has changed, but I still feel like asking. Also, Yuki, I told you you can't watch these streams. Actually, no, I didn't. I told you you can't watch the video series. Because, well, spoilers, because I want you to play this game at some point. Good hairstyle is basically how my hair falls after I wash this. Like, usually I slick it back because the, the plan is to do that once it's long enough, but... All right. <clears throat> anyway, also, um, Boba does have access to the room. So, now I'm going to focus on my hair. So, if he happens <clears throat> to go lie down on his little... Uh, little blanket I have, I can always turn on the Bobo Cam, just in case. That's where I have it set up, uh, if he goes to lie down somewhere else. Tough luck, I suppose. So there you go. Uh, Bobo Cam covers Lenny because obviously. Um, also, I noticed I have bad internet on my laptop right now for some reason, so chat doesn't update uh, as quickly as it should, but whatever. Uh, I'm still gonna go ahead, because today's stream will not be super long. Um, I'm basically just gonna finish, well, just gonna finish chapter one, because you weren't able to do that last time, and I... Well, uh, Lenny and I recorded this Friday, the, uh, no, yes, no, no, Saturday, um, but since Yuki was here this entire weekend, uh, I wasn't really able to, uh, edit the video, so I was like, you know what, I have no video for today, so might as well, you know, stream, so that is why we are here today. I look like Lenny because this is basically Lenny's lazy hairstyle as well when it grows out. Um, should I change my hairstyle so I stop getting compared to Lenny? Hold up. There you go. I think that works. Ah, too bad. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna really, really quickly check my inventory in coupon. Do I need to use that? No. Um, I don't know if I, I didn't have money, did I? Two coins. Hmm. I guess it wouldn't be bad to buy like a how block. <sighs> What's in the castle that's like? Uh, This is actually going to suck pretty badly. Can I sell, like, anything? I mean, if I sell the in coupon, I can buy a power block. I'll sell the mushrooms. You know what? I'll sell everything. Why not? And I'll buy two power blocks. There we go. Should be good. Plan for red bones. That's a good point, because if I use the pal block... No, 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 no. I have a plan for red bones. We're good. We're good. I'm good. I'm not going to tell you yet. It's going to be epic. And it's 100% guaranteed to work. Because my one worry was, like, if I defeat one... Or, like, if I defeat the Dull Bones and Red Bones is still up, he might uh, build more Dull Bones. And then that might become 
a very annoying, almost infinite battle. Oh, sorry. No, you... No, 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 no! How did I accidentally do those inputs? No, you can come along, Coops. Like, I'm gonna accidentally stumble my way into all tutorials, but then uh, to Coops, I'm, I'm accidentally gonna tell him off and say no. I'm sorry, guys. Coops can join. He's, he's pretty good. He's gonna be pretty good once he's upgraded, because then he'll actually be able to do damage. It might be the tutorial PTSD. Just in, been ingrained. And now I just automatically, automatically and accidentally skip every, everything that smells like a tutorial. Um, my thoughts on hero mode. I think it, my entire thoughts are a bit, are a bit too, too complicated to explain here in, in the stream, but, <clears throat> um, well, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, well, I can, I can, it, it's pretty much pretty, it's pretty much, uh, comes down to personal preference, but I have personally gotten pretty sick of playing like those typical, oh, very hard mode mods. But I very much and very highly respect the work that has been put in into changing all kinds of stuff about TTYD. Because when, when I started my YouTube channel, which at this point is actually quite a while ago, um, like, TTYD modding was, was very simple at that point. And it started to grow really slowly, but 64 grew way faster. It's also a lot more easy to mod. But now we, we're actually making strides with D2YD, and uh, Reed is really showing that in his uh, mod. So, am I gonna play it? Yes. Um, at some point. I would prefer to play it when it's done, but who knows when that is gonna be. Um, but, I mean, my that, that's what I mean with it's hard to explain my entire thoughts during the stream, because... They're way more complicated than just what I said right now, but you got the gist of it. Um, like what the guy is doing is like awesome. Uh, I love all the, the mods and the people who are putting in work in this community. Yeah, where are the easy mode mods? No, please don't. Although a lot of people do say TYD is an easy game. And I mean, of course it's relatively easy if you're experienced like, well, either very experienced like uh well let's say for example me or people like cappy and all that but um for like newer players t2id honestly is a pretty tough game like i thought about that i mean it's been a while at this point but like a couple of years ago i think cappy mentioned like you know the shadow queen is actually a really hard final boss and i thought about it and you know what she really is She's very much... Oh, Boba is here. He's sitting on my computer chair right now. Um, but yeah, the Shadow Queen can easily fuck you over. Boba's holding something. I'll turn on the camera, but I think the only thing you'll see is Cat Butt. Also, he's in front of the thing I have to click. Boba. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's not. That's that's an entire cat butt. You can see him a little bit. But he's basically sitting in front of the camera right now. I'll turn it off and see if he moves. Or do you want me to leave it on chat? Yeah, it's bow butt. I'll wait for, for a couple of responses uh, if you want to have me leave it on. Leave it on, leave it on. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we're not going to talk about... A, uh, or I'm not going to mention a couple of obtuse uh, puzzles in this game because the game does... Ha or is, is a... I mean, a, a little jerkish sometimes with that. But, uh, I mean, more gameplay-wise. D2ID can... Definitely kick your ass. Oh, hello, uh, Koopa. Oh, wait. What am I badged right now? By the way, 
Um. No, I'll keep it like that. All right, let's go. You know what? If I can avoid these battles, maybe I will. Because these battles are... That was a weird... Like, I, I uh, got that badge on my downwards arc of my jump. Also, Boba is hitting... Oh, yeah, that might be bad. He's getting inching closer and closer to the keyboard. I hope... He's actually just laying down in front of the camera. This is amazing. This guy... Boba isn't allowed to eat paper, no, but I don't even know what he's... Boba, please. I don't even know what it is. Or where he found it. I'll check real quick, because there's uh, a little bit of text. What do you have, mister? Oh, he also, like, fucked up the blanket so that the camera is covered. Oh, you, you thought this was a casual playthrough and you wondered why I didn't read a letter about that. Well, you'll have to wait, I guess. Man, I wonder if Boba is gonna... No, oh, he's walking away. All right. Figures. He is a cat, after all. No, this is gonna be pretty tough, actually. This first turn, maybe I should have brought a Courage Shell. But, oh well. That rhymed a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the Boba Cam now. He's gone. There we go. Lenny's back, guys! Alright, let's see. Or I guess I could go for Broke and just use the Pile Block to play it safe. Okay, the plan I had is basically Power Jump on the first turn on Redbone, so he loses one HP. And next turn, double up on the uh, Pile Block, so Redbone dies. He brought another one! Where are you finding this, Boba? What the fuck? What is it? He brought the exact same thing, and I have no idea where he's getting these from. All right. No, it's not a Dacron blanket. It's like some kind of foam. Like the papery type of foam. Uh, yeah, like basically the, the thing, like the, the switch comes in. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess I'm going to play it safe and uh, do the power block. Well, no, do the power block with Coops. And if Redbones happens to build an ally, I mean, tough luck, I guess. And there we go, all right. I guess I could, tr but like, try to farm star points on this. Yeah, he brought another one! He, he brought another one! Oh wait, I can't farm star points on this. Right, they have double HP. Oh God, I forgot about that. I forgot about my own thing. Oh no. <laughs> Guys, abort. Abort mission. Yeah. 
<laughs> yes, I I might have forgotten one of the main points of the mod, but that is fine. I'm going to tattle him so we can keep track. Oh no, Goombilla's dead. And I have a shine bingo in the... Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Maybe I should go check where Boba's getting these from real quick. I'm sorry, chat, for this, <laughs> like, all over the place uh, the stream, but it, it's kind of important. No, I see that! God damn it! He was playing innocent when I was watching. You're just sitting there like, what's wrong? I wasn't doing anything, don't worry, dad. Um, all right. I swear to God, he's gonna come in again, but whatever. Um, all right, let's get that shine bingo. Also, I did see the guy throw the thing. He's got another one! He's right here! Well, but come on, dude! Yeah, no, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to lock him downstairs because I'm figuring this out later. really can't have my boy eating a uh, foam or anything so I guess I should just keep stacking red bones with uh, power jump probably the better idea at this point stop attacking the back please I miss my super guards when they attack the back and it's even harder to tell because of the the size god damn it the size of the bone yeah all right no the plan is fine
Uh, I guess I'll sweet treat in the sec so Koobs doesn't die. Oh my god. I saw that. Alright, I did see for that. Uh, yeah, I'll sweet treat to guarantee Koobs doesn't die. Oh my god, no! My Koops HP! <laughs> that was a pretty shitty sweet treat. Exile feed him a horse tail? Well, maybe not yet. Probably better. Well, I guess I'll appeal? Because that's the only way I'm going to get my star power back. <laughs> this is starting to feel like impossible amount of dark bones. I'm going to go for a, a bet and hope I don't lose that bet. No, I lost the gamble, guys. This is why you don't gamble. Wait, why didn't I power jump red bones? I'm dumb. Oh my god! Alright, I'm in danger! That's actually not bad. And I dodged again, apparently. Okay, next turn... I can sweet treat. Okay. I think I, I can uh, power shell to keep down red bones. It's not going to do damage, and it is a lot of FP, but I'm going to have to. I don't know with how much HP he comes back, and it might be full HP, which is really bad. Really hope that keeps him down. I think we're good. Because now Koops can just regular shell toss. It's just gonna be... Like, I'm gonna have to build up a sweet treat with appeals. This is going to come down to the, well, me hitting my super guard, basically. Oh my god, guy! <laughs> no! I mean, the fact that Koops can keep down red bones without uh, me using FP is great. Which is not going to change. Because they can't build in front of red bones. They can only build uh, next to them. Alright, lovely. Okay. Like, this would have been easier if I brought more items, but I wasn't going to grind money. That's more fun like this, right? Um, I don't... 
This is why you don't stay menus. I don't know if I damaged this one. I don't think I did. Sweet treat. Don't bruh me. I mean, at some point, my audience is going to run out. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, imagine without super guards, that would be death. Oh, I missed the coup. And I got the... Now I'm missing all the coops again. At least I got some FP out of that. Yeah, I just gotta hope if I defeat the bad guy that the first guy doesn't build an ally. I feel like that almost rhymed. Maybe I should, ju should just not hit the stylish because for some reason maybe it was just a fluke but i really don't want to miss the action command oh now an fp bingo all right if he, if if Koobs gets killed that is real bad All right, now let's hope he doesn't build. Oh boy. Yes. All right, perfect. There we go. I got those bingos consistently by, well, uh, just learning them from experience. I know where the icons are, so it's kind of, I don't want to call it muscle memory, but it's kind of almost muscle memory in a way. Um, I don't think I need BP right now, but I am going to need BP in the future. Um, I did get an HP plus, I guess I will go for BP because I can equip the HP plus, plus if needed. All right, cool. I don't know if there's a hard block inside, but maybe I should heal Goombello. Um, actually, these battles should be fine, right? Nope, never mind. It's four of them. All right, I'm out of here. Help. 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 The fact that they have 2 HP is way too much. 2 HP is too much, officer. Power bounce isn't going to do anything, so... I mean, I guess I can equip pretty lucky for maximum luck. And then I'll unequip power smash. Well, no, I needed to, to damage spike Goombas in this. I guess I could just not fight Spike Goombas, but I don't know if... No, I'll just keep it on. I might as well equip multi-bounce to knock down multiple Koopas if that... Yep, to knock down multiple Koopas if that comes up. Yes, exactly. I also forgot HP is doubled. 
So don't just blame me. I mean, yeah, I guess it, they technically have three defense because uh, I do two less damage because I'm tiny. Although I think being tiny is, is actively worse than giving enemies two defense. Because attacks like Quake Hammer still won't hit him, even though it technically pierces... Or, well, even though it pierces defense. God dang it. And now I just realized I forgot that star piece in the playthrough. I'm gonna try it one more time. Yeah, when, once I get the curse, I am gonna get uh, Mega Rift P. There we go. Right, that's apparently not how that goes. Guess I'll hit the switch. And see this epic paper effect. Yeah, Mega Rush P will help a lot. Mega Rush P will basically just even the playing field. Which is like a bit less powerful compared to what it usually does. Yeah, that's true. Last MP can help. Although I can manipulate uh, Hokedale's attack power. A little bit with uh, the Cricket Badge. Because I lower her attack power by one each time the sound triggers. So I can uh, choose how much damage she does to most likely Goombella um, in that battle. So I can make her P. And maybe I should go back for Multi Bonk. It might not be a bad idea. Actually, I think I will. I'm going to take every advantage I can get, honestly. What was that? Reduce her to one? Maybe it will be decent, yeah. She will all she will still do one damage because her base is three. Uh no, the cricket sound will only lower her usual five to one attack power. Um, but she'll always get the plus two. So it will not change her huge attack power. So the lowest she can do is uh well with the fire, um she will do three damage guarded, it'll be two. I think that's how it works. No, the minus one attack debuff or minus two attack debuff does go, does go lower than base. So to remote to do damage, Goombella needs needs plus two attack. For example. Peril risk? Peril is not risk. Peril is strategy. Although Hooktail does have 40 HP, so we're gonna have to uh work with that. That'll be fine. Well let's go and get fire drive or something. How about that? Go to floor 20 of the pit. Who's up for some late night fat guy? I'm not. No, return postage doesn't hurt Hooktail. Wait, how many star pieces do I have right now? Ten. Hmm. I think it's impossible to get power plus P. Actually, I, I know it's impossible unless you do hazard respawn, but I'm not going to do that glitch. Like, that is not really in spirit of a challenge, in my opinion. Yeah, she does only heal 10 HP. That is true. Oh, Gamilla's still dead, right? Okay. I think it's weird that sometimes... Oh, 
Oh, mushroom, nice. Sometimes Mario makes his uh, just regular pitched attack sound. You know what? I'll defeat these guys because why not get some star points? All right, I can't switch to Cumbella. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Never mind. Okay. Oh, happy RP. That's happy hard honey. Oh, shit. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Alright, who's down for some battling? Oh my god, please don't kill Goombella. Okay, I missed that. And I missed that. How do I, how do I hit my super guards more consistently than my action commands? I'm not gonna farm from coins. That's that's just lame. Look, guys, I'm getting star points. You know what? I, I think I'll just let the front guy attack me and hit the super guard. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god, dude! Okay, what the... Are Koopas just, just extremely... Do they just have extremely weird hitboxes? And because I'm tiny, it's even weirder? No, I need that. I need, I need this HP. Especially on Goombella. All right, let's miss all the Goombella HP. I mean, I guess you can knock this guy. No, I'm not gonna let, let him. There we go. Okay, I missed the super guard, but that is okay. Wait, hold up. Has Happy Heart P just not activated for him ever? I mean, I knew it sucked, but jeez. There we go. Alright, all that for three star points. Let's go! Yeah, it is a 33% chance. And he had quite a few chances. Oh, nice. I mean, those do help. Stage hazard? Nice. Stage hazard? Nope. Well, I'm gonna sweet treat and either hit the super guard or just power jump him next turn. I guess putting Gumbella in the front and defending would have been better. How did I miss that poison room? The world may never... No. Okay, good. 
All right, nine star points for all that work. No, no. I need that coin. I mean, I guess I would accept farming coins that way. So if people want to see me do battles, uh, I suppose I... <clears throat> that was... Wow. I think I might be turning into an old man, guys. Yeah, a little outclassed is, is a good description. The double HP is uh early game is way worse than I not than I thought it would be, but I guess I just didn't think about it. So it's not worse than I thought it would be, it's just I never thought of it. So there was no thought. Money money is a um parlor badge. You get it. You probably need to I wanna say the platinum card even. Just really late game. It's post chapter six, maybe. Should I beat this Goomba? I'm gonna try to beat this Goomba. I, I, I'm just feeling thirsty. Thirsty for Goomba blood. Oh, the stage didn't fall. Nice. Apple. For some SP. Oh, do you want me to sip water? It's right next to me. It's actually funny, Yugi and I were talking about uh, me setting up the Boba Cam and then people can redeem the Boba Cam and if they, if for like, $10 donation and then I need to turn on Boba Cam. And I'm thinking like, oh, I can, you can redeem sips and then I am allowed to th drink water. Mmm. Now I'm thinking like a real YouTuber. Yeah, I never thought of it, so there was no thought. I feel like that's a pretty deep... It's pretty deep. It says something about all of us. Hmm. I'm thinking flower saver wouldn't be bad. It's basically doubling my FP at this point. Can't deal damage without being super ranked. Koops has two attack powers, so he does zero damage. Quick Chain is the safest. But Quick Chain is seven BP, which I don't have right now. I'm thinking saving for these is going to help Chapter 2 way more. Item hog might be clutch, but I forgot to look up how to gift memberships. Hold up. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. I even talked about it and everything. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll get nothing from Dazzle then. Can sell that mushroom maybe. Like the dollar bill next to chat? No, that. Oh, gift memberships. You have ten memberships. Ten memberships left to gift this month. All right, nice. I'll gift five memberships ships now. All right, guys. For everybody who joined this uh, impromptu stream, well, everybody, five of you guys. That work so who got gifted oh unlikely gamer william zingleman all adobe apps out of 
Add the robot and horse radish. There you go. I'll do the other five uh, next stream, which might be sooner. It's probably next week. Uh, wait, are there troubles right now? Oh, but I, I'd have to eat. <laughs> I'd have to beat Gus, and he has 40 HP. Yeah, never mind. I'm not beating Gus, no! Pay Gus? I can't pay Gus. I don't have 10 coins. And he also has like uh, five attack power, so no. Just hit every super guard. Yeah, that would work. I'd also have to hit um, 20 power smashes. I don't think it would take an hour, but I might just. Oh, I can sell badges, right? I can sell happy heart and this act of XR. Who uses that? Fuck that. Yeah, thanks. Holy shit. But I'll go pick up uh, Mega Rush first. So I don't forget about it. <laughs> Buy Dazzle Badge just to sell it. Well, I will get 50 extra coins after this chapter because I can sell Attack of XR. So that's nice. Leave me. <gasps> Alright. That's one coin, guys. We're on our way. buying a power block couldn't hurt for some quick damage I'll do that all right you can buy sleepy sheep here and sell them in rogue port right is that the trick or is it the other way around? Buy sleep sheep in Rogueport. Or uh, buy sleep sheep in... Either way, it's it's one way or the other. Do they not have sleep sheep over here? Yeah. You buy sleep sheep in Rogueport and sell them over here. And you get like a two coin uh, bonus. I guess they don't... Like sleep sheep are rare in Pedalburg. And the economy has been slow. Because of uh, Hooktail. I'm going to try to set up peril hoops real quick. Oh wait, hold up. Do I have... Oh, I don't have last NP yet. Yeah, that's later. Yeah, Goombella is the best for Hooktail, but Hoops is the best for regular enemies. Oh, fuck! Oh, you cheater! I couldn't even see that! I think. Could I see that? Did chat see that? You saw it? Oh, god dang it. I mean, I guess I can buy last stand P, but I don't really have to. Because you get one in the castle anyway. Can I get an FP, please? Can I please have some FP? No! Oh my god! I suck!
Has it been a year since the Mario movie? I mean, I guess I can appeal with Koops. That's true. But uh, thinking about that, my life has drastically changed since then. With all the like new things that keep happening. You know, the house, the cat, the girlfriend. Oh, nice. I'll try to only hit the flowers in the sweet treat. The internet thing did happen, that is true. Ah, I got it! Nice! Snipes! I can be decent if I want to. I can leave my friends behind. I mean, I am, I am back on the YouTube grind, beta squared. Uh, you might have noticed. I'm, I'm gonna try to go back to the... Uh, well, not really video every day, but content every day, I suppose. There is a quote-unquote, quote-unquote, real reason for that. Um, but I'm not really gonna get into that right now. I'll tell you guys later. It's nothing to worry about. It's actually a good thing, but... <laughs> Boba content every day? I mean, that's something Yuki and I have also talked about. Uh, me... Oh, wow, I missed two flowers and got a Koops. Is starting a Boba channel. Just abuse the cat's cuteness for views. That was horrible. Typical burnout? No, no. I didn't get burnout. Did I get burnout? No, I wouldn't call it burnout. Can you attack Koops, please? It's not for the star points, it's to get Koops in peril. More so. But they keep attacking Mario, god dang it! Oh, I never did up, end up talking about El Dexter. Uh, but I wanted to do that when I played T2ID64 on very hard. But I mean, long story short, El Dexter st uh, stopped modding for now. Which is a little sad, but oh well. Let the man live his life and do what he has to do. Yeah, guy does need a break. Everybody uses a break. Remember to take a break every once in a while. Like, even, even from social media and all that. And saying that, well, there we go. All right. Saying that is, goes actively against myself because, I mean, I'm on social media and then you can't watch me. But I think it is nice every once in a while. With the whole internet debacle over here, where it basically went two months without internet. Honestly, for the first couple of weeks, it was oddly refreshing. And I didn't hate it. I mean, the thing is, I don't know if Eldexer is going to stop forever. Because, like, how can you honestly say that one, for 100% sure? But he was definitely uh, in need of a break. Which is fair.
Yeah, like legit, I do think it's a really healthy choice to take a break from social media every once in a while. Like delete your Twitter, delete your Facebook if you still have that. Delete your Instagram and all that. And just, you know, I know it, it's a classic, but go outside for once and just, you know, experience the world. Go for a walk, have fun. Oh my God, Coops did damage. Yeah, I never had Twitter anyway, so. That's the thing, I, I don't have social media myself besides, uh, well, this YouTube channel, and then I am on Discord. Uh, so, I mean, I did delete my Twitter. I had a Twitter a while ago, a long while ago at this point. Um, but I just don't deal well with it. And even on, I'll call it my Discord, because I still call it my Discord in the description. But technically, it's not really my Discord anymore. Dark runs the show, and I don't really do anything. I mean, I if something really needs changing, uh, I guess I will discuss that with Dark. But uh, it's more of a place I just hang out a couple of... Just once or twice a week, talk a bit, send a picture of Boba, and then I leave and go about my day. And honestly, I never had a better... <laughs> It's been like that since 2020, actually, so. There you go. Should I sell the HP plus? I could. Hmm. First, I'll check if I need the money. What are you selling? There's the last hand. P. Piercing blow is completely useless. Uh, I don't think last hand P will be necessary. I have one last hand P. Although, technically, no. The fire uh, does two damage if I guard, so that will get lowered to one. So once partners are in danger and I guard the fire, they will only take one damage, which is very nice. But if I don't guard, the second last stand does help. I know last stand for Mario's on sale. Oh, actually, no, I can't get both. Well, I can scum the shop. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to scum the shop. I do want the second last time for safety and if I miss the breath like if I'm trying to um, super guard the breath and I and uh, I miss the super guard partners will still just take one damage when they're in danger Wait, is that even true no I'm lying never mind that second last stand is useless You can totally fight Gus now? No. I'll fight Gus right after chapter one. Because then it's gonna be way easier. No, applying drink doesn't make him normal size. And uh drinking a power punch doesn't make us normal size. Like sizes will not change, but this challenge is to show you guys that size does not matter. Trust. I suppose the Super Appeal P wouldn't... Wait, there is no Super Appeal P. Well, shucks. Alright. Let's leave. You still get the attack buff? No. You don't get the attack buff. That's the whole thing. We're gonna be tiny. Forever. Oh, wait. I, I mean... I'm gonna go back to Pedalburg anyway. Uh, to stock up on items since I have a little bit of cash now. So I am actually gonna get an inventory's worth of uh, Sleepy Sheep. Because why not? Power lift does exist, and power lift will actually raise my attack power. It's just size will not. Oh, I couldn't even buy an inventory's worth. Whoops. 
But yeah, special moves have always been unaffected by shrink. So basically, items and special moves are going to be king. Uh, but as you saw, Mega Rush P is still incredibly useful. I'll sell the horse tails in Pedalburg. Actually, I think they sell for more in Rogueport, but... I mean, I'm moving already anyway, and I mean, whatever. Whatever. Um, the remake. The remake, I'm gonna play. Hey, that was dumb. You distracted me with your chat message. The remake, I'm gonna play day of and do a midnight stream of that. And I don't know if Lenny's gonna be able to join that. Uh, if he wants to, he totally can, but he doesn't have to because that's not something I'm gonna force upon him. Uh, and I'm not gonna read too much text uh, during that. I'm basically just gonna quote-unquote rush the game and check some stuff out uh, More technical stuff at that point, but I do want to casually All right, I do want to casually replay that That's the thing a lot of people have been mentioning like oh, to somebody should totally do a PHP as their first playthrough uh, But I don't think I will do that like it's funny But I I like <laughs> this is gonna sound dumb, but the content creator in me is like, no, it's probably better, uh, like revenue wise, to just, you know, play the game and check out all the bullshit and get to the end first because it's very important. And wahoo, YouTube. Because if you're not first, you might as well be last. Anyway, wow. That's some crazy money. Well, I don't want to upload shorts of Boba to this channel because uh, that would get annoying. No, I'm not going to do a challenge on my first playthrough on the remake. But I am just going to check stuff out. Just random crap. Sorry, Toad. Alright. Wait, hold up. I'm here to withdraw. All right, I'm going to sell those horse tails because I really don't need them. Keep the mushroom for safety. Uh, I guess power blocks are more cost effective, right? Compared to fire flowers. Yeah, I'll just pick up an inventory's worth of power blocks. Oh, I am going to get an Ice Storm, which I don't know if I want to use yet, but it's not, it's not half bad. I mean, I will do a Pivotal Pin in Remake. Oh. Uh, but not as my first playthrough. The, yeah, I, I save for a blooper, the ice storm. I am going to do the uh, the blooper thing in the remake just to see. I doubt it's still going to be there, but it would be really funny if it is. Also, watch this, guys. Oh my god! I'm doing things! That was actually quite dangerous because Coops could have died from that. Uh, you know what? Nah, I'm not gonna get that much from Bingo. Oh, maybe I will actually. That damage came purely from Mega Rush P. Because Mega Rush P raised your attack power by 5 and Koops did 5 damage, so. I guess Mega Rush P is my currently my best partner. Hmm. 
I'm not gonna get a group lead with mine. I guess I'll sweet tree. Get some feedback. Six coins? Ah. That's too much. Well, let's not get hit in the castle, please. Although I can sweet treat and run. That might be a good idea. Hey, you. Not you. That guy. Well, actually, I could use a power block in this battle. Sweet treat, power block. Sweet treat, power block, switch to coops, power shell. And hit all enemies on earth. Whoa. 7 FP is nice. Pretty good. Stage hazard? No, oh, that would have been so good because they would have died. Switch to Coops. Power Shell. Oh no, they're back up. You know what? I'll just appeal and Power Shell again, I guess. Because I am going to get full SP from that. Well, not if I don't hit the stylish. Never fucking mind. Oh, I got the paw block. Greedy. Hell yeah. Be greedy, guys. It pays off. Yeah, I did get a freebie, actually. That was a freebie. Oh, wait. Wait, did I get the key? Yeah, okay, cool. I just ignored that key. Oh, life advice from Fat Guy? Honestly, I'm gonna just tell you guys, being greedy most likely does pay off. But uh, don't do it because it's unbecoming. I don't think it's a sin, but still. Oh, what the you? The bones were in the way. Hey, you. I don't think being greedy is deadly sin. Greed is, but being greedy isn't. Or is that the same thing? Semantics? Well, shit. I guess I'll buy a block. I got a free one anyway. Wait, I should have appealed first. No, I still don't have full SP. You? Yeah, there we go. I'll attack and switch to Gumbella because I'm gonna level up from this. And then hope the guy doesn't build an ally and I'm already gonna feed him. Actually, Mario can't defeat him because I need more FP. Gosh darn it. Well, I guess I'll sweet treat first. flowers get it okay that's fine that's enough of tea. 
Now let's pray he doesn't build an ally for two turns. I think the chances are pretty low on the regular doll bones, but they can do it. I just now noticed Yuki asking if I have more life advice. Um, what's like legit terrible sounding life advice that actually works? Oh, don't care about other people and only care about yourself and also manipulate other people into doing things uh, that help only yourself. Because then if people start hating you, you don't care about that because you only care about yourself and your own game, right? Be, no, don't be woke. That's the thing. Don't be woke and don't care about anything. Just be evil. Honestly? Honestly? Be evil, but don't do things illegal. Boom. Life advice. You'll, you'll totally make it with that advice, honestly, if you think about it. All right, let's do... Yeah, that, I was just thinking about that, too. I'm, I'm basically becoming an alpha male influencer. Exactly. Uh, I'll do BP. Yeah, lawful evil. Yeah, it's just that's the thing. Be evil, not illegal. That totally makes sense. Oh, that reminds me of a guy I saw at the supermarket. I don't want to really talk about it anymore. <laughs> it was basically just a guy being a dick to foreigners, saying they should learn uh, Dutch. And, uh, yeah. And the thing is, like, basically, they were speaking... I don't even know what language. Let's just give an example. Let's imagine if they were speaking Spanish. Two people were speaking Spanish to each other. And then the guy was like, oh, you should learn our language. But he didn't realize they actually understood Dutch. And then one of the girls was like, wait, really? You're going to be like that just because we speak Spanish to each other? Uh, and then he was like, uh, yeah, I think you should. So I think he just didn't realize they actually understood Dutch. Uh, so yeah, fuck that guy, by the way. I can't even, I can't even grasp the idea of that guy thinking He's right about that. Like, yes, if foreigners are in our country, they need to know our language. Like, he, like that is douchebaggery to the fullest right there. And if I wasn't as much of a pussy, I totally would have uh, called him out too, but I didn't because I'm a pussy. Just a little bit of a pussy. Just a little pussy. I don't like confrontation. Yeah, I know that's a, a big thing in the States. Over here, it's not... Well, fuck. It's not as bad, but, uh, I mean, there's still a lot of racism. Kind of sucks. Kind of sucks? What am I saying? Sucks a lot, actually. What the fuck? What was that? All right, then. Cool. I did get shoblonged. Trying to do that, doing that in a remake. Sure, fucking sure, whatever. <laughs> oh, FP, nice. I don't think I needed it. No, I did. Also, guys, pay attention. I'll, I'll, I'll stop on this text so you can read it because in the playthrough, we had Goombella here. 
Oh wow, the globe trotting thief. Miss Mouse. Troops panting after every sentence is really weird. No matter how cute you are. Darn. It's so weird having power again, right? Oh, hey, what's that supposed to mean? But like, it is risky though, because if I miss a super guard when partners get attacked, it's just, yeah, yeah bye bye, uh, bye bye. Mega rush. It's not like I have all of them. Oh. I can use that maybe. Actually, didn't Goombella get healed? Yeah, she did. I'll take the power log then. I don't really have a lot of alternative ways to do damage. So if the Mega Rush fails, uh, yeah, then it's then it's uh, panic with this with with a K time. Honey syrup. Uh, actually, that's not half bad. I'll take that if, uh, instead of the mushroom. I might come to regret that, but we'll see. Got him. No, no. If your plan fails, you panic. But panic is with a K. This does sort of feel like doing a free of tail pit. Because you're relying heavily on Mega Rush. It's a very interesting way to do uh, Chapter 1. No, not panic with a K, it's panic with a CK, just panic with a K. Yeah, pa Pecnic, exactly. Actually, maybe I should get that a feedback. Why not? Yeah, actually, I will. I'll make sure. I'll make sure to not hit coopses. Look at all those coopses. There's a coop. To be fair, I just need three FP. So I'll go for the safest FPs, like that one in the back. And I missed, so it's fine. There we go. Only the safest FPs are on this channel. Yeah, that was a perfect street treat, exactly. To me, it was. Alright, perfect. It's actually so nice. Like, I've missed doing damage. Like, honestly, I can't believe they thought Mega Rush was okay. Oh. I'm not hitting that flower. That Koops was way too close. There we go. And poison! Wait, I am killing you? How am I killing you? What did I do? Mental damage? I don't think that's gonna work in court. That's true, but Veil, Veil is, is... <sighs> For a casual, Veil feels very good to use because like dodging charge attacks is like sticking into the enemy, right? It's like, ha, I dodged your charge attack. Oh my God, no! They were gonna throw an ice storm. 
mental damage. No, are you kidding me? How are they gonna throw throw an ice storm two consecutive turns and I miss both of them? Really now, shy guys. I think it was a different shy guy even. I mean, I do want the Ice Storm, actually. I would miss it, but I could have, like, used the Pile Block or something. Where are all the FPs? So anybody want to throw like an ice storm or something? No. All right. Oh, that could have dropped a heart on me and healed troops. I mean, I think they can throw rocks, so... I think taking a nap does heal homesickness. So it does heal mental damage in a way. You guys want to see a cool trick? A cool trick that I, well, not recently learned because it's been, I've, I've known about it for a long while now, but. Aw. Hold up. I'll have to do it again. As Koops jumps down. So you jump down with the block. Release Koops, pick up the badge, jump on the block. Because if you do it the other way around, uh, Koops stops doing his animation. And you get the badge and Koops just comes down. I think that is a neat trick. The guy who came up with that, very good. Alright, now I am actually going to pull this. Let's see. Engage with your audience. Start a poll. Go back to upgrade. Kumbella. Yes, no. All right, chat, do your thing. I don't think I need to, but it would be helpful. I could get quick change. I mean, it would be safer, but at that point we're going for absolute safety and I feel like it might be overkill. I can get, grab a nice chicken noodle soup. I don't have soup right now. I could grab water. I'll do that for you guys real quick. But not Goom, what's she going to do? A lot of damage, that's what. I think I might start walking back casually. What are the votes looking like? Oh, 69 votes. Yeah, I think I'll end the poll. Oh, no, you guys went up to 71. All right, all right. Let's go, upgrade Goom. Hey, look at this trick. Look, I'm down. 
Boo Wamp. We were close. Well, vote better than next time. Quickly make alternate accounts to uh, rig the vote. I guess while walking back, I can also uh, do the vote for. No, actually, I, I'm not. Not not gonna do them. Oh, what the fuck? All right, very nice. Anyway, <laughs> don't forget to like the stream, guys, and send it to all your friends. Also take a nice dick pic, but don't share it with anyone because that is weird. Just take the dick pic and look at it every once in a while yourself. Just to remind yourself. That size doesn't matter because that is the message of the stream. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell icon. And remember to check the bio because there's a link to my merch in the bio. The link to the merch that I don't have because I don't have merch. The link that I don't have to the merch. God damn it, that I don't have. Remember to like and subhoob. And remember, don't get groomed by other YouTubers. No, that doesn't mean you can't get... Okay, never mind. I mean, technically I could have had merch. It would have had to happen like... How long are we at this point? Five years? Six years? Whatever. For Book of Mario, I totally could have had a shirt with... Don't worry about the war, there will be cake. Oh, don't worry about it. Just don't listen to other YouTubers. They don't have your best interest in mind that guy with the threatening advice yeah all right let's go blue. traps are not real no make bobo merch maybe like the thing is i do want to just for chits and giggles have a bobo channel just kind of as like Basically what I do on Discord now, just post random ass shit of Boba, but just do it on a channel. Like, might as well, right? And if I do end up making a little bit of extra money on that, I can always uh, donate that to charity, which is nice. So. And I can still like stickers, Boba stickers and all that. Doesn't that sound lovely? I think I'm going to store a couple of those battle locks. Because I don't need all of them. And definitely not for Hooktail. Uh, I'm not going to need Piercing Blow. I could pick up the, the other last stand P, right? It's on sale anyway. Yeah, I'll do it. Nice talk, fat guy. Hey, no problem, fat guy. I like you too. Love the playthrough you're doing on Paper Mario 1000 Year Door. You guys do some great voices. I'm my own biggest fan, guys. No, if P-Rain doesn't work, if you don't do damage. And also lowers your your damage output by one. So. I think that's just all around not, not the best idea. Buy more sheep? Really? But, like, I can only buy one sheep, so no. Am I actually a fat guy IRL? Well, you can clearly see no, but I've put on uh, a lot of weight in the past year. And by a lot of weight, I mean like... Basically like 10% uh, extra weight. Gaining, basically I just gained 10% of weight uh, compared to my usual weight. And 
I'm gonna try to do something about that because I'm already way above my, uh, well, basically the line I deemed okay for myself. And I don't want it to go overboard too quick, too fast. So, yeah, I am still, like, it's not that I'm, that I'm fat, like, not at all. But it's a slippery slope, and I don't want to suddenly slide down that slope and not get to the point of no return, but I do want to be careful about it. A line in the sand? Yeah, I mean, you knew what I meant, so. I mean, I could share my weight. But I would share in kilograms, and I feel like a lot of people were like, what is that? I only know pounds, because 55% of my, my audience are Americans. But basically, I, I, I weigh like 70 to 72 kilos now, and uh, like my absolute cutoff point was uh, 70. So, yeah, there you go. Speak freedom. I don't know about that. Eagles, hamburgers, racism. <laughs> there you go. I just spoke uh, freedom language. It's actually, I do weigh more than 70.3. So, so 70 is, uh, so let's say I weigh like 160, I suppose, about thereabouts-ish. Uh, and that's, yeah, it's becoming too much for me personally. How tall am I? Uh, one, well, 176. It's like one, let's say 175 and a half because it's like, I'm definitely taller than 175. It's like, you know how a lot of people are, are very finicky about their extra inch and half a centimeter is even less so. just just uh, count me as 175 it's easier which is actually actually uh 510 I'm pretty sure now nah, 510 510 is uh, a good 510 is a good I'm definitely not the, the dreamy six foot tall. Because as we know, if you're not six foot tall, you're you're not a man apparently. Six feet tall, I'm sorry. Size doesn't matter, exactly. It just keeps coming up, doesn't it? I may not be, be six feet, but I am dreamy. Well, yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, switch. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna use a heal block anyway. And it coops heals. Ah! Okay. This stream is for all the small peens out there. No, when you join your channel, Join the channel today and you can you too can become the big peen. I kinda need to heal. Or padlock. Yeah, padlock. I have a lot of them anyway. down the bad guy and there are five new big peens exactly i can give 10 big peens a month which isn't a lot but it's a, i mean better than nothing which is the way it used to be i mean technically i can give more uh, from an alternate account but i don't have that set up so i could look into that because why not right for like a big stream someday could be fun Give back to the community and all that. 
lobby ball. Maybe, maybe during the remake stream. Just every hour I'll give, I don't know, 50 subs, who knows. Yeah, that's just, that's just 50 buckaroonies, that is fine. Every hour, that would be a lot though. <laughs> that's uh, 600 money units, because the stream on YouTube can only be uh, 12 hours before it gets cut off. Yes, I did say that. I can give 10 big peens a month. Stream for 59 minutes and leave. I mean, that would be a very clever way and a good way to save money. And, it, and I wouldn't have lied at that point. So suck it, viewers. I only use you to, to gain money. Obvious. Hey, remember that time when people got upset when uh, Twitch, like, uh, like streamers revenue got leaked, and then people got upset, even though like you can see how many subs they have and therefore know how much they they uh, earn. That was a sentence. That took a while. Jeez. Also, I thought the bad guys were going to fall, so I guess I'll use a second power block. Yeah, it's off streamer's revenue, because people are like, Oh my god, they gain so much money. They're like, they earn so much money, but, um, hello. You can just see how many subs they have. Yeah, I do, uh, like, me personally, I do try to keep it, like, <laughs> let's, let's call it, keep it real. Uh, I don't ever want to let... Any profits or fucking uh, revenue change me. I'm gonna keep doing what I do because if I didn't do that, I would be playing like probably Minecraft at this point. Although that would be cool. I think I do wanna do that at some point, play some Minecraft because Minecraft is just fun. This is a dangerous battle. Ice Storm? Why not? Oh, nice! Well, I don't have to use that. Coops can shell toss. I'm playing a dangerous game, but I guess I have a live stream, so it's fine. And yes, I did actively miss that bingo. Because I don't want to heal Coops just yet. No, Ice Storm does uh, three dungeons again. You're thinking of the snowman ball. Ice Storm is just an alt, like uh, the counterpart to Fire Flower in this game. Even though it's 64, it's like th uh, 2 for Power Lock, 3 for Fire Flower, flower 4 for Snowman ball, 5 for Thunder Rage, and 6 for uh, Shooting Star. And then 7 for Star Storm. Oh, we're doing Peril Goom. 100%. For uh, Hooktail. You know what, I think I'll do this battle. Why not? I don't think I can first strike this guy. With coops. Can I? Oh, I can. I totally can. He's so close. Mm. Oh, 
wait, actually, that works. How are you not getting hit? Got him! <laughs> no, it's not dumb. Look at these items. I might get one of these. See if I get one of these items. Uh, the shell would be nice for Mario. Nope, none of them. Alright, that's fine. I didn't want them anyway. Alright, let's fully heal. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have done that and equipped the HP plus first. But let's see, I don't need power jump. I do want power bounce. Attack of XR. Uh, I'm gonna un- I think I should unequip pretty looking at close call. Unless I keep Mario in the back. Yeah, I'll keep Mario in the back and I'll keep those on. And then the last time, well, I guess for Mario safety, the last time would be pretty good. I can unequip the pretty lucky, I think. And then the two last stands, P. All right, I think we're good. This uh, should work. But I am honestly more curious. I might actually fail this because the animations are gonna be absolutely fucked. Hello, I am here to approach you. Oh, it's fine, look at that. She's just a normal sized dragon. I think she's just gonna be off screen. Like, her head is gonna be past Mario and Goombella. And I don't know how that is gonna work with me hitting it. Mario's gonna run back then. Oh my god, help! <laughs> she stomped us. She just, she just smushed us before the battle started. I honestly, guys, I think she won. Instant game over. Um, I mean, I don't know. I think she missed us. We're in between the toes. Now, we're getting a good whiff of her, of her feet, though. They are world-renowned, you know. Alright, let's go put Goombelli in front, though. And we'll tell first turn. That's the second time a tattle has been just completely blind. Like, the, the indicator is on her head, so I just could not see it. Alright. Uh, that's power bounce. Power rounds on the board. All right, nice. That's three lower attack power. Oh my god! Wait, why did it only do three damage? Wait, does Hooktail not get the uh, attack buff? Or maybe, maybe, the, oh my god, I think, I think I might know how it works. I think the fire is just completely, uh, a completely different thing from her, uh, normal attack. And I think the foot gets the plus two attack buff, but the fire doesn't. Fire never. Yeah, I know the cricket debuff, but that's not, that wouldn't do the three. Oh yeah, it would. Never mind, I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb, 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 dumb. Uh, 
Uh, I guess I'll keep tattling to roll bingo swaps. Never mind. Alright, jeez. Oh god. Okay, so that can only hit Goombella. So at some point, she will just easily go down to peril. Well, easily. Is that a reference to the hit song, Dum Dum? Yeah, it, yes. Also, by the way, guys, her foot is off stage. Mario runs into the crowd to do that. Let's hope she just keeps using the stomp. Uh, and I'll sweet treat this turn. Well, let's use the pop walk. Why not? Trust me, that pop walk is in there somewhere. Actually, no, I'll sweet treat next turn. More FP to gain. Mario just completely jumps off stage and everybody's like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Mario's crowd surfing, exactly. Alright, let's uh, sweet tree. Bye, Hooktail! <laughs> oh my gosh, she's still on screen! I... No, I can't see the icons! No! There is absolutely no way! There is absolutely no way that it's how it works. All right, so somehow we're gonna have to do sweet treats to keep Mario healthy while also trying to avoid healing Goombella with that. I mean, as long as she, she keeps using the stomp, I am good. This is truly David versus Goliath, isn't it? I couldn't even see that, come on. How much damage does the breath do if I don't guard it? Also three, right? I think whatever she does, I'm just not going to guard, then uh, I should be good. Oh, sweet treat uh, right now. And just only go for the things I see. And not Goombellas. All right, good. That's nice. I do like how she keeps lurking right there. All right, so now Goombella's in peril. What? Oh, the last stands. Dude, guys, I'm so dumb. I am so fucking dumb. I hate it. I hate last stand. I'm never equipping last stand again. Uh, never again, guys, never again. All right. I'm scared for Mario. How do I consistently forget last stand? Because shut up, that's why. All right, Goombella's in peril, guys. Let's do some damage. Oh, 
Oh, that's so nice. A sweet treat because I'm uh, gonna have the star bingo. All right, let's try our hardest not to get Goombellas. Although if I get one Goombella accidentally, that's not the worst. Because I do really want the Mario's. Hello, Mario? Those are Goombellas. Oh yeah, I need to super guard. God damn it! <laughs> it's fine. Uh... Uh oh! 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 <laughs> I, I didn't mean to hit her head! I didn't mean to do that! Are you want me so bad anymore? I don't know about that hooktail. No. No. No, keep it, you cad. And now you're gonna. No, I don't want to smell your feet. I've already smelled enough of your feet right now. How is this even going to look? I think, well, you, you will be able to see more of her. Because she won't be covered by the uh, stage. I think she didn't tell... Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, that is just terrible. You see that? You see your mouth? Her jaw, right there. Yay! Yeah, I think she, like, when she slides in to eat the toads, uh, or just, well, yeah, the toads. There, there's only to toads right there. Like, her body is, is stretched back, so nothing is on screen. Interesting. I didn't know about that. All right, let's kill Hooktail. Shablam. All thanks to Mega Rush P. Because as we all know. Alright, I can confirm that tail is a hook. It almost hit Mario though. That could have done some damage. <laughs> oh no! Oh, she disappeared! A very, very strong stage hand came to clean up Hook Tail. Oh no, it will not just be a danger run. Trust me. Mm. I'll do BP. What's in the seats? There was a dead dull bones. Well, I guess that's kind of a moot point. Like, it, a dead dull bones. I think... Well, actually, no, they're unalive. But is unalive... If you... Can you die when you're unalive? Undead. I guess the undead can be killed. I think the stage hand that just kind of swept Hooktail back a little and now she's right there the other koopa what other koopa there's no other koopa and there's definitely not a running gag about another koopa i don't care that's not on this playthrough re-dead yes exactly an undead Yeah, like the thing is, if you're gonna be like, oh, this is just gonna be a danger run, keep in mind while attack power isn't gonna scale hugely, um, because it's only it well, only plus two, enemies will have double HP. So that is gonna uh what word did I use? That is really gonna scale hard while I can't do that much damage every turn. Like, sure, I beat Hooktail like this right now, but this power, 
the, the power that I have with Mega Rush right now is pretty much what I have. It's not. It's, I'm not going to gain that much extra power on top of that. So I think at some point I might have to give up on the... Uh, well, I don't think I am going to risk power slash Mega Rushing Mario. Uh, because I'm, my, I'm not allowing myself... I'm not allowing myself... I'm not allowing myself to... Uh, uh, farm Mega Rush, uh, farm Power Rush Peas or Power Rushes in the parlor, or farming Mega Rushes or Mega Rush Peas from, I think, Hammer Bros in this game, or basically any kind of danger badge. I'm not doing badge farming, it's simple as that. If I get one, just randomly, sure, I'll, I'll take it, but it's not like I'm gonna keep beating enemies until I get. The badge I want. Power lift will be very helpful. The uh, defense on power lift on battles like Smorg are going to be pretty good. I don't know if Grubba's going to be that bad. If Grubba gives himself defense, that's pretty rough, but I don't know. Like, Grubba would be instantly a lot harder if you did a run where you give all enemies the times 2 effect where they can attack twice a turn. Because Grubba sets that up on his first turn or whenever he loses that effect and then raises his attack, defense, or becomes dodgy and then attacks. But if he constantly has it, he doesn't waste turns setting up the effect. So, uh, then Grubba just has a lot more turns to do buff attacks. So I think adding a fast effect on the enemies in this run would probably be the hardest I would make it because then they attack twice a turn and that is just a nightmare. Yeah, Grubba wastes his first turn and if I'm able to clock him out, uh, that could be very good. Only problem with that is uh, you only have 3 SP at that point. So you basically have two shots on Clock Out until you need a couple of turns to get your SP back. So while Clock Out is good, it's not going to be as spammable as it is in like other runs. Big Cortez is going to look interesting. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, star Powers and Items are going to be very key. Uh, and Peril Partners, I think. But, like, the fact that enemies have higher HP, or double HP, basically, is going to leave a lot more room for error. Because if I miss a super guard or miscalculate on a partner once, that Mega Rush goes bye-bye. And then I gotta uh, rethink the entire battle. Oh, the Swarm Claw is going to be terrible because I can't, I can't see the Claw. Uh, yeah, Grubba is going to, yeah, Grubba is going to grow in size in his second phase. That's going to be funny. No, but Smork is going to claw like way off screen and then I can't visually see it. So, yeah, I don't know about that one. Hopefully Smorg is HP based and not uh, percentage based. I actually don't remember. And by that, I mean that Smorg in vanilla, Smorg has 50 HP and he changes phases when he's uh, at 25. And a lot of enemies in this game are hard set to change their phases at an HP value and not a percentage of HP value. So if you raise uh, HP with mods, a lot of enemies will just stay in their first phase until they hit their vanilla HP value. So for Smorg, I would need to deal 75 HP before he changes phases if he is that hard set on that 25 HP. Wasn't Dupless? Dupless might be HP value. Actually, I'm not sure. There are a couple of enemies that are percentage based but uh most enemies or most bosses are hard hp based i'm not gonna look at the statues watch the casual playthrough if you want to see that i voice beldum and it's a very good voice i also voice grow this and it's my favorite voice and i voice cami which is almost like the beldum voice
Bowser doesn't have a mustache in that portrait. I think it just, it just, it just looks weird. Bowser hates eggs. Is it the dumb girl's voice? No, think about it. You'll know what it is. <laughs> well, no, I guess it's not my favorite voice. A girl just could be, could have the Andy voice, right? But no, it's not that. Uh, minus two does have have effect on gulp, but only on the initial hit. So Yoshi gulps, the enemy he spits out is affected by the minus two, but the enemy that hits, uh, gets hit by the gulped enemy, will take the full four, five, or six damage. It's the same thing with Power Plus. Power Plus only applies to the initial enemy and not to the enemy that gets hit by the, by the gulped enemy. It's always been weird. That's something they might change in the remake, I think. I feel like it could be fair. Because why... Like, why is it like that? Why does why is only the initial hit of Gulp affected? It just seems fair, honestly, to me, that both hits get affected. Yeah, exactly. 2, 4, 3, 5, or 4, 6, uh, depending on Yoshi's rank. That's how it's going to be. So Gulp will be pretty decent, uh, damage output-wise. Let me get one of these leaves, it's nice. Oh yeah, that's, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna be able to cook now. And uh, get some Koopa tea. Oh, do you want me to beat Gus right now? I could try to do that. Beat Gus and end the stream. I think I'm gonna store that live stream for now. You won't beat him? Yes, I will. What the fuck? You can if you want. Oh, how nice. People. <laughs> oh, if you want to beat Gus, you can beat him. You know what? For, I do have Earth Drummer now, so Mario can damage Gus with that. And I guess for absolute safety, I'll bring a Curse Shell. Set that up on Mario. Bring like two Curse Shells. Actually, no. I need to buy a lot of Curse Shells because uh, you need that for trouble. You get an Ultra Shroom for that. I can't believe I remembered that. I didn't even remember that in the casual playthrough. Never fight Gus? Never? Hold up, what did I put in storage? Oh, I don't want to sell my pal blocks. I need one more courage shell. For that trouble. Hold up. I'll just get Thurly Leaves. Why not? <laughs> How much HP does Gus have? Well, in this, he has 40 HP. Yeah, while I said I did, quote unquote, steal this challenge idea from Cappy, it is slightly different from what he's doing. Not only is it visually, like, dumber and wackier, and that's kind of my thing. <laughs> um, I think I said this before, but minus two attack on you is technically worse, or at least different than uh, plus two defense on enemies. Because defense piercing attacks like Quake Hammer, Fire Drive are still affected by you having lower attack power, but uh, enemies having more defense than attacks like Piercing Blow, Fire Drive, uh, Quake Hammer, those are key. Which is fun, like, in its own way, because I have a soft spot for Piercing Blow, and I think, I, I, I wish it had more use, but not enough enemies have more than two defense in the game, and at that point, just use, uh, use Power Smash. It's like the, literally the same thing. Not literally, but pretty much the same thing. 
That's true. Gappy has uh, times two of uh, damage on enemies, which, like, my thing makes the pro makes the uh, it makes chapter one a little harder actually. But it is gonna make like late game is gonna be quote unquote easier. But I do have different options uh, with my attacks because defense piercing options deal less damage because I'm the one with less attack power. I think it's it's it's. A little bit of a, a nice twist on what Cappy did. And again, the whole visual aspect of it. Just I mean it's kind of it's kind of nothing. I like things to look d dumb fun. I like things to be dumb fun, right? Gus is not depressed. Why would he be depressed? What do I get? A super shroom. Wow. Very nice. Wait, hold up. Store. Gotta make sure those two curse shells are in there. I'm actually gonna sell that super shroom. No, not store. Sell. How much does he take it for? Like seven coins? Ugh. I think in a puny tree you get more coins for that, so I'll, uh, I'll keep it, and if I end up using it, I end up using it. I think I'll just super guard against Gus with Mario, and... Uh, if I miss one super guard, I'll set up a courage shell on him and then heal him if necessary. Wait, wasn't I gonna cook with Koopa leaves? Ah, it's fine. I can come pick some up uh, in between chapters. Yeah, sh hell yeah, shout out to my homie Gus. I like it. If you tell him with Gumbella, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's, she says he's actually a pretty nice guy and he's, he's chill. Honestly, the, the crime bosses in Rogueport are, are kind of chill dudes, if you look past the fact that they're, you know, crime bosses. Kind of like Hitler, you know, if you look past all the, the horrific things he did, I guess he, did, he, he, he could paint, and that's nice. He was an artistic guy. Yeah, they do suck at being bad people. Yeah, he couldn't pay good, paint good enough, and then he got frustrated. Probably had daddy issues, and then he became... Uh... Well, honestly, I can only describe it as a loser, but, I mean, whatever. The guy himself didn't think he was a loser, but I think he was kind of a big ol' dummy dum dumb loser. You heard it here first, folks. I think Hitler was kind of a big dummy dum dumb loser. Wait, you want Gus lore? I'm not gonna give you Gus lore. What's the what's the playthrough? Honestly, yeah, that that's even better. Uh, he he's he was fucking cringe. You know that? What a, like? He's such a loser. Anyway, I'm gonna unequip these. A dummy, dumb, but loser he was. <laughs> exactly. He sucked that art, so he became Turbo Satan. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. All right. Let's. Uh... Did I save? I'll save again for safety. 
Rolling in his grave, what are you talking about? He was such a pathetic loser, he couldn't take being a loser and committed unalive on himself. Like, really now? See, this is what I think we should do with, like, uh... This is getting, like, a bit, a bit crazy. <laughs> but anyway, I'll finish my sentence. I feel like this is what we should do with, uh, like, serial killers and people who commit terrible crimes. Just don't give them cool names like, you know, Jack the Ripper and all that. Give them, like, the dumb fuck who, who, stabbed, who stabbed the guy. Call them names like that because then people won't be inspired by them for some reason. Anyway, I can take you, you... You... You guy... Also, listen. You can hear him stab the spear on the... Yeah, jag the back. You know what? I'll sell the curve shell on Mario first. So he can take less damage. Uh, because when he's in danger, Gus might miss. And I think I also equipped the last hand. Oh, wait, I should have uh, Earth Thrummer first. Alright, that's good. That's four damage on our boy. Oh, Mushroom. Okay. Thank you, I guess. Uh, I'll heal. And then I will Thrummer. Yeah, his laugh is pretty good. I do like the tiny Mario and Koops on this giant crystal star. Right now I'll defend. And then hope I'll, if I miss this guard, that would be so dumb. Let's just not think about that. There we go. Uh, for safety, I could put Coops in the back, I guess. Well, no, Koops is defense, so he can't get hit by... Why do I keep doing that? So he can't get hit by stage hazard, so he's actually safe. Alright, let's go. Yeah, we're gonna beat Gus in no time. Yeah, Gus does have a tail. Also, look at our star power regain. It's like, it's doubled because because Koops is in peril and then there's a bunch of toads in the audience who give uh, triple the star power compared to other guys. Do birds have tails? Well, yeah, they have a... Uh, it has a name, right? Well, tail feathers? Just a thing, right? So yeah, if birds have tail feathers, they have tails, you know? I mean, it's just a, a cute little tail he has. Don't call him out on it, because we get self-conscious. He's so tanky, dude. Oh shit, nice! Very good. Stop panting, Coops. You're at your A game right now.
But you no longer support Gus? Why? You shouldn't stop supporting Gus just because he lost one battle. Is there something I missed in the chat? Was there Gus lore I didn't know about? Am I allowed to do log jump, guys? Just for one... Okay, never mind. For one extra shine sprite. I'm going to allow myself to do this. Do you think log jump will still be possible in the remake? I'm going to guess no, because they probably uh, fixed some hit detection or some hit boxes in... Uh, Cheater, I know. I know, Judge. Don't worry about it. No, no, I do want an explanation, actually. Alright, let's do the plenty one. Actually, yeah, yes, yes, plenty. Do it and do it right. Get the pre fra the frame, the frame perfect jump to get to the other side. Yeah, maybe. No, I just need to hit... Yeah, exactly. Falco. Hit the uh, up B. Well, I use Fox. And then he goes, FIRE! Look, Koops and Mario are pan buddies. Anyway. I mean, this is stuff I technically don't need to do on stream, but I mean, I got the courage shells. So. Yeah, actually, I'll go to uh, West Side and do some stuff there on stream. Why not? Wait, you mean when Mari's in danger? Like, he doesn't walk up anymore? He stays front facing. Well, I think they will fix all of that because they're adding a lot of back sprites. It's, the reason that doesn't happen is because Mario doesn't have a uh, back facing panting animation. Uh, and he definitely will in the remake, so that will be fixed. 100%. store that for now uh might sell it later or cook it who knows uh no nope. quick question can you give uh the hungry guy at the pier can you give him a horse tail or does he not accept that He accepts it? Nice. What's his name? Bomberlo. I think he only gives you like 12 coins, but that's fine. Actually, why am I doing these troubles here? I'm gonna have to do them again in our casual playthrough. When will I wear wigs? Is that a thing YouTubers do now? It might be anything that gives HP, that's true. That's the uh, the way it is for Eve. <laughs> it doesn't look right tasty. Oh, it's 11 coins? Alright, alright, alright. Poison them? No. Yeah, that's the thing. You can't give him a poison from or a trial stew. Uh, what's like the grossest, grossest thing they can give him that still heals HP? I guess a mistake? Oh, even honey syrup counts? Oh, so HP or FP then. Okay. Uh, Garf. Arthur. He's right outside.
I mean, mushrooms are disgusting to eat raw, that is true. I mean, actually, mushrooms aren't disgusting to eat raw. It's like they're just tasteless and kind of, I don't want to say rubbery. They're just like, yeah, wow. Nice. Uh, I'll just pick up this trouble because I'm going to walk to that side of town anyway. I don't know if you need to talk to Garf. Actually, doing this trouble gets rid of log jump, but whatever. Toilet mushrooms? What the fuck? I need to be able to get them. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, do you mean a, a prepared mushroom or a raw mushroom? Because the texture is way different. But I get that. It's it's like the same thing as uh, snails. It's like the texture uh, when they're prepared is like, you know, it's kind of like weird and, and like slimy and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know what I mean when I go blah, blah, blah. Um, either way. Wait, I never did this? Yeah, I... Wow, I, I was able to walk far. I didn't know you could walk that far? <laughs> you can't do the cutscene with Yoshi. Because you need to get to... West side to get Yoshi. I mean, no, technically you can if you do a uh, hazard respawn glitch. And I'm gonna guess the game soft locks. Probably. Well, that cutscene isn't in the uh, learning zone randomizer. Now you must know what happens. Wait, you want me to load up the practice codes? You know what? Sure. I'll figure it out right now for you, chat. I did solve the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, I'll do the rest of the troubles off screen. Never activating that cutscene. I like that. Doing a playthrough, just never helping this or like breaking the contact lens. She she's looking for that forever. If Mario doesn't break it, so honestly, Mario is the hero of the story. There you go, Zest. Yeah, Zesty Mercy Run, I guess. Hello. Take this. I mean, Mario doesn't defy reality. He has a respawn glitch. It's just like... It's like bouncing in lava in Super Mario 64. Instead of the fish just dropping you wherever the game deems it worthy. But do remind me, I'll fire up the, the practice codes on my computer after this and we'll check out what happens if you ride an attack cutscene with Yoshi. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say, since Mario can do his no animation, uh, the game will softlock. Or maybe even earlier, who knows. Uh, I think that's all star pieces I can get. How many? Oh, nice. Uh, should I get power plus or power plus P? 
I guess power plus P is going to be more helpful, right? Although they do have Mega Rush. Wouldn't Mario hop off Yoshi? No, 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 no. This game doesn't do that. If it's not intended to uh, be activated that way. Then, uh, yeah. You need to pee. Now, thinking about it, it's kind of a tough choice. Although Mario does have special moves to do most of the damage. Yeah, thing is, with Power Plus, Goombella is actually able to do damage. And for Mario, he'll have to wait until he gets the boots. And if we finish Chapter 2, then we can get the Power Plus for Mario. I think that's better. I'll get the Power Plus P. Um, hold up. I guess I'll wait doing par uh, to do parlor stuff. Until I can do Law of Trouble, so I don't actually have to buy Piantas. Hey, let's get uh, Soft Stomp. And lower some enemy defense. Yeah, partners are uh, better than Mario for a lot of the game. I mean, I can buy the Mario's version of Mega Rush. You know, Mario's version of Mega Rush. Uh, right now from Charlie, but... I don't know. It makes me feel... Uh, Safe and in unsafe and insecure. Yeah, Mega Rush M, that one. Honestly, Soft Stomp is a badge I could sell to make some cash. I don't think I'll ever use it. Also, since battles go very slow, some gradual serps wouldn't be bad. Yeah, Mega Rush Peant. Zell, okay. Oh, he was very shook right there. He was just as surprised as I was. Boo. Ooh. <laughs> okay, can somebody uh, tell me quickly if you cook a slow shroom, does it become a shroom fry or a shroom roast in this game? I think it might become just a shroom fry. Is it a roast? Wait, actually? Holy shit. That's not half bad. But, uh, I'll keep the gradual serp. I think it might actually come in very useful. Alright, let's cook that slur from then. Oops, it's really unbecoming to be panting like that in a kitchen. Nice. I'll keep that as like an emergency big heal. All right, let's get uh, power plus P. Koops is dying. No, Koops is fine. Don't worry about it. I don't think Koops is tired of life. I would say he's feeling very much alive right now. Power plus P. Yes. Was there anything else I... Oh, 
I'm debating the second pretty lucky just for dumb shits and giggles. Chill out isn't gonna be useful. No, 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 I don't think. No, not attack fix by shush. I mean, attack fix why to sell? It's 50 coins. Nah, nah, I'll keep my star pieces. I really. Look, next chapter we get the super boots and then I'll collect all my star pieces and I'll refresh my memory uh, on how many star pieces you have after chapter two and then. Sure. I'll buy attack fix Y purely to sell it. The Y sound effects is the dingling. It's not really a dingling. It's more like, uh, well, when I say dingling, you think of D in 64, but this one is just like a clunk, like clunk. Somebody should mod T2ID and just have that be the sound. Me going clunk. Hello, I'm here to sell my attack effects are And soft stomp. Nah, no, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. And since uh, close call is on sale, well, may as well. All right, I think I've done. Oh, actually, hold up. I'll go to the door and grab the star piece behind the stairs as well. Just a mod where I do all the sound effects. So basically just any sound any sound file in a game is replaced by the sound I make. So all the music will sound the same, but the instruments are just me. Someday maybe. I don't want to battle these guys, they're fearsome. They're fearsome foes. Paper Fat Guy featuring Fat Guy. Player Fat Guy. Let's get this coin sprite. Actually, like, Lip Lock is a really good move also, but it's gonna suffer real bad from Flurry being tiny. It does pierce defense, which is nice, but it's only gonna do two damage, which really sucks. It really dampers the heal. I like Paper Stereo, the Thousand Ear Bleed. That's pretty good. Coop, stop panting. We've talked about this. Respect the map, okay? Original game here, you're so tired. Of what? No, like all the textures being my face would just look terrible. And that's like way too much work for one little joke that's gonna get old after like half a stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
That was so boring, frankly. Can you stop talking? Ugh. Never talk again. Anyway, I'll take your trash. Oh, very nice. All right. I think I've done everything I want to do. Uh, I'll do the last troubles off screen. And then right now I'll fire up the emulator on my computer and go into the zesty cutscene with Yoshi on the practice codes. Just so everybody can say. Hello, everyone. Lovely. Hey. All right, let me, oh, I need my uh, GameCube controller. I suppose I don't outright need my GameCube controller. I could use the keyboard and mouse, but uh, let's not. Did everybody hear that? Can you hear my system sound? You might be able to. <sighs> Hold up. It was starting to annoy me. All right. Let's get this up. A new device uh, connected to your ears. You wish you hadn't heard it. Why? I love that noise. Uh, get this. It might also be running the tiny code, but that's fine. I mean, the, ti the tiny huge code. You can hear this and it's probably very loud. One second. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Let me check. Oh, heckin' yeah, you can. Is it loud? It's a bit loud. Okay. I mean, I can show you. Ta da! One second, I'm gonna put it on. Oh. Hey, how have you been, Chad? I'll put it on here. But first, I'm going to lower the volume. Hold up. There we go. And then. capture dolphin you can see my mouse you know what that is fine i 
Let me just quickly get rid of that black bar. Uh, there we go. And get rid of my mouse because why not? There we go. Okay. Actually, I might have activated. Is this T already on here? But whatever. Let's check. Yup. Uh, warps. Select for my event. Select event. Where is other robot? Compeller assaulted. It's not like after the next time. Compeller joins. So the one. Compeller joins, I guess? No, 1000 ignites after warp. Will any abuse do you want to have? We can do you want Lenny to poke up? There he is. This is not Lenny abuse, guys. Yeah, let's go, Goombella. I love the practice codes. We snuck out of there, guys. Also, practice codes are just fun in general because there's a code to make Mario move real fast. And if you do it during cutscenes, Mario just zooms out of there. <laughs> and you can actually hear Mario's to the right of the screen. You can hear it in stereo. Mario's showing the map right now. Yeah, he dodged the kiss. Exactly. Was the Toadsworth is totally senile. There's no Mario right there. Oh, whoops. I just reloaded the room. No! <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> Mario pushes her. Oh, the practice codes, codes are public. Ron Zephyrus is, uh... GitHub. Yes, the practice codes are, are really uh, powerful and just fun to uh, mess around with. I would recommend it. You can learn a lot about the game, actually, internally. Camera pans back over. Still nobody there. Goombella joined herself. Oh! What's happening? Or he just came back to jitter and then zoomed out of there. Ah. You know, Gumbella, this is a pretty nice barrel. I was checking it out for the entire time. Alright, is this T back? Yes, she is. Alright, let's... Uh, uh, stats. Partners. Yoshi. Toggle on. Name. Yoshia. Yep. No. Yo. Yo, uh, yo, uh, yo, wop. And then. There we go. She's now named Yo, wop. Uh, color will pick blue. And then we'll bring him out. 
There he is. All right, let's get into the cutscene. Oh my God, Mario jumps off. Let's see what happens if we do the contact lens. Interesting. Okay. Oh, are you really going to block that as a C? That's fine. No, no, no. Don't talk to her. She doesn't deserve words. Hold up. I'll get on her roof and jump over. There we go. <laughs> What you talking about, nerd? She learned how to deactivate the loading zone. She's just cheating. God dang it. Help. Help, I'm stuck in the loading zone. Let me out? Thank you. Can you moon jump away from the contact lens? I'm pretty sure that loading zone is active before she blocks it. So. Whoops. Also, the practice codes deactivate the uh, tutorials. So don't use the practice codes if you want Toadette to be in the game. I didn't know those at Collision. Oh! Help. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, honestly, so again, I really recommend messing around with the practice codes. Because they're just dumb fun. Even in battle, you can do all kinds of stuff. Oh, spin! Hello, Zesty. No, oh, spin! Mario gets it so hard, he just bounces off the box and then goes back to the loading zone. Yeah, that's ex exactly. This is a speedy spin. Alright, steal my money. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Really? Now it's just become messing with the practice codes. Yeah, I'll fight, I'll fight Gus. Hold up. Oh, whoops. Nick, uh, can we fight, though? Ah, oh, goddammit. Sorry, that was the nice guy in me. Hey, Gus. Oh, no. Deja vu. Hold up. Battles. Gus. Uh, change HP. There we go. And then we'll just do a little. Got him. But yeah, you can basically apply any status to anyone with these codes as well. So. Yeah. I'm telling you. Practice codes, they're really fun. They're intended to be used to, you know, practice scenarios in the game and quickly warp. Because a lot of these, um, if you warp by events and set your keep him sorry to no and you let's say select i don't know let's say like the 1000 dry bones battle no let's do yeah sure let's warp there right we're gonna warp and the stats you have and everything that you have equipped is pretty is basically what they have in speedruns at this point um, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, because you would have Mega Rush P, probably. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, 
Maybe my point wasn't that good of a point. But uh, yeah, basically a lot of this is set up to practice speedrun stuff because uh, you can also... Wait, what is it? Is it... Or cheats, probably? But you can change the sequence, walk through objects, blah, blah, blah. So all this is to also discover new tricks. It's just very nice. You can spawn items. You can save anywhere. You can do tech storage so you don't actually have to do tech storage to get tech storage. Uh, reload room, obviously. Uh, frame advance. Lock your HP, you know, for safety. Um, I think there's also like a practice setup for palace skip. Maybe that's not in here anymore. Either way. Oh, wait, is it this? Oh, yeah, there you go. Palace skip. Yoshi skip. So a lot of these things are set up. Oh, these specific speedrun tricks. There you go. That's like all the stuff you need to practice uh, Palace Skip. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Um, I don't know if there's practice codes for 64. There might be. I know there's practice codes for Super. They're not as good as these, but um, they're pretty good. Still pretty good. Uh, we used them in the Super playthrough to mess around with the game at the end. So it was fun. Um, but yeah, these practice codes I really like. Anyway. I'm going to end the stream and uh, remember to join me in the next stream because I will gift my five remaining free subs I can give out this, mo this month. Uh oh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. No, that is always automatically activated. Um, the guard timing is something that appears on screens. For example, if I, I'm going to warp somewhere else, somewhere easier. Warp to... Uh, I mean, warp to boss, I guess. We'll warp to... Bowser and Kami. And then for both guards and super guards, you'll actually see by how many frames you missed the guard or super guard. It's really helpful to practice them. And it's also nice for content creators, I guess, to like... I don't know, have it on screen and show like, hey, look at that. I'm hitting these guards really well. I don't know if any, everybody saw, but Mario just zoomed to Peach. There he is. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, my God, that's so cool. <laughs> no, now I'm sad I didn't get to hear that in the playthrough. Oh, shit, I hope I forget about that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit these uh, guards like this, but I mean, practice for far in the future, I guess. All right, let's see. Wait, is that even on that display? Yeah, there you go. Press A on frame two of eight right there. So it says on which frame of the guard you pressed. And if you... I'll, I'll, I mean, I'm, uh, I was going to say, I'll try to press early on the super guard. I'll probably press early anyway. Or I press late. All right, cool. Anyway, it also tells you how many frames early you were, which is really helpful to uh, learn the super guards. Anyway, enough ramble. I'm ending the stream and going to bed. And uh, yeah, see you next time. <laughs>